Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. This one just turned up in the mail today. Um, I saw this on eBay, uh, sorry, Facebook. Uh, it's from, hey, it's the Johnson's, Gene. Um, he had them, he's been getting these made or he's making them themselves. I'm not exactly sure. I think he's making them himself. Um, he, he's got a couple of them for sale. He only does small batches. So I think this one, is. there was three of these available. So this is the Dragon Fire Steel. It's made out of 1075. He was saying something about stamping it out. To get it uniform but i'm not sure um yeah looks some um, it looks somewhat forged to me but i don't know gene please get in contact with me in the comment section whatever and correct me tell me exactly what's going on with it um i just don't like giving the wrong information out either way i've spark tested it fantastic mate i am so pleased with it this is beautiful it's a beautiful striker dragon striker um they us they're 35 dollars us um gene actually did a swap with me so i was quite willing to pay for it and all up it, um it was going to be i was going to pay for it and I was going to send him one of my strikers, pay for it, and then gift him one of mine. And anyway, it turned out that Gene was quite happy to do a straight swap for one of my strikers for one of his strikers. So anyway, I um, ended up getting this one, and I sent him one of my large colonials. So yeah, um, I'm entirely happy. This is a fantastic striker. Beautiful beautiful striker there it is up close a fantasy striker nice thick strike face on Aussie grey sparks fantastic let's get number I love my fantasy dragon strikers I didn't end up going over Jack's on the other day, and there's a bit of a story with that. I've always called Andrew, his, his real name, called him Jack because he was um, in his job. Didn't like him because he was working for the government. Well, he retired, so he always asked me not to call him by his real name, Andrew. And... Uh, on the videos it's really hard to always call him jack so anyway i didn't go over andrews the other day so yeah because um anyway it didn't work out that way i was supposed to go over there on sunday and make more char cloth but i haven't but anyway let's see how this goes yeah no dramas cotton rounds So it's working. I knew it would. It's a fantastic striker. Beautiful. I love it, mate. Thank you so much for this. Comes in a nice little leather slipcase. Beautiful. I'm going to make up a kit for it. Put it all in the kit. And we'll go from there. But anyway, yeah, fantastic, mate. Just turned up. So, yeah, it's like a kid in the candy shop opening it up um, and getting it all sorted out. So, yeah. Fantastic. Really nice leather work too. I like that. That's fantastic, mate. Yeah, I should have sent you one. Mine in a leather case. Um, but um, I'm, I'm finding sending them over to America. I like them in the wrapped them up in the um, oil skin because it's oiled. It doesn't. They don't rust as much. So yeah, that's um, that's my thinking behind it. But um, yeah. But I'll be definitely putting this in case, and this will be a treasured item. Um, yeah, fantastic, mate. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's going to be blown away. Anyway, it's a bit blowy.
employee in today. We'll, we can work with that. But yeah, that's, um, hey, it's the Johnson's Dragon Fire Steel. As I said, I saw it on Facebook. Um, I don't know if he's got any more of these available. I will link their YouTube channel in the description bar at the bottom of this video. Um, and if you're, he does have different strikers available. I don't know if he's got this one available, but he has others that I have seen. Um, just get in contact with him through Facebook um, and go from there. Um, and I'm sure you'll be able to work something out. Anyway, thanks for watching.